what I say. At the antique mall with a friend, buried in a bin, a Florence Griffith Joyner doll comes with a full set of nail stickers. I read once that during a race, her nail flew off. After it ended, she walked the track to find it. Her miniature wears a one-legged bodysuit, neon green and pink, the detail I most associate with her. My friend asks if she's still alive. I look it up. No, 1998, seizure in her sleep, just before her 39th birthday. I only now, in midlife, know how young that is to die. When I was little, 40 was my father's scratchy cheek, my mother's face cream. 40 was inevitable. Death had not yet entered my mind, though soon I'd learn. My old babysitter, my classmate whose father skidded past the stop sign one winter, and Frank Titanic, I couldn't quit learning death. I'm still learning it researching even the slightest symptoms, wondering each birthday how much more time. I set down Flojo's cardboard home. My friend holds up another doll. I look this one up too, deja vu, only she's alive, Billie Jean King, white tennis dress with blue Peter Pan collar, X number of years left. Next month, I'll turn 40. Well, you never really know, I should, 4-0, in tennis, the zero 